everybody. Hello. I'm Meg Reed from Hub City Press. I'm Kate McMullen. We're coming to you from uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina. We wish that we could be joining you in person at trade shows this yeah. fall. So instead, we're going to give you a quick uh, video overview of the titles that Hub City has coming out. We are a literary publisher. We do eight to ten titles a year, mm -hmm. fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. Our thing is that we only publish books about the American South. Our goal is to publish the best, finest, newest, and freshest voices that we can find who are coming to us from our region. We're super excited to tell you all about them. So we're going to try to do this in just a few minutes. We hope that you'll look into um, discounts, other offers that we're running, and we hope you'll talk to your uh, PGW rep about mm -hmm. stocking our books in your store. So get in touch if you'd like to have an event or would like to know more about one of the titles we talk about. So first we're going to start with fall. Fall. We're super excited. Um, actually, the week that you guys are at SEBA, at least, um, we have You Want More Selected Stories of George Singleton. George is a very well-known figure in Southern literature, uh, widely considered one of the greatest working contemporary short story writers um, today. And uh, we are very fortunate to have assembled 30 of his best stories um, from eight collections over the last 20 years into one uh, beautiful compendium. It's a beautiful hardback. It has lots of dogs on it. It's great for somebody who um, might have read some of his stories and maybe wants to take a deeper dive. It's also great for people who may have missed one book along the way and want something where they can, um, you know, dip in and out of his entire catalog. We've got blurbs from uh, Margaret Renkel, who calls him nothing less than the Shakespeare of South Carolina. <laughs> we have blurbs from uh, David Joy, who says that um, if he could take one book to a deserted island, it would be this book. Fine price. Um, yes. <laughs> and so we're very excited um, to have this book. George is on tour this fall. Um, if you'd like to have them at your store, please reach out to either Meg or Kate at hubcity.org and mm -hmm. we can talk to you about an event. Um, and we're very excited for this book to be publishing on September 15th. Mm -hmm. Next up in our fall catalog is something we're very excited about. This comes out on October 6th and it is A Measure of Belonging, 21 Writers of Color on the New American South. This is compiled by Sunel Barnes, who wrote Monsoon Mansion. Sunel has put together quite an amazing list of folks. They're all writers of color and they are writing about their experience of living, working, writing, and existing in the South. It's a super prescient book, of course, in the landscape right now, so we're very proud to be publishing it. The folks who are in here include Kesey Lehman, Tony Jensen, Natalia Sylvester, and some new voices from the South who you might not have heard. What's really exciting about this book to us and what makes it totally new is that there are Black voices, Brown voices, Latinx voices, Indian voices, Indigenous voices, in this book, South Asian voices. There are there are so many different kinds of Southern experiences. You'll see this book in Garden and Gun, in Charleston Magazine. Sunel did an interview with CNN Philippines, so there's worldwide buzz for this book, which is very exciting. Some of the contributors will be going on tour all across the South, talking about their essays, reading from them, and fostering discussions about what it's like to be a person of color living in the South today. We're so, so proud to be publishing this book. And now spring. And now spring. Um, so first we have a poetry title. You want to quickly talk about Cleave? Sure. Cleave is the debut collection from Tiana Nobile, a Korean-American adoptee poet. She lives in New Orleans and she is writing about the adoptee experience from childhood, the psychology of the adoptee, what it's like to have parents but to not have parents. It's a really incredible, compelling book from a new and, and fascinating voice. She's gotten some blurbs so far from A. Van Jordan and Kathy Park Hong. Can't wait to share this book with you in April at pubs April 6th. 2021, which seems like a lifetime away. Um, but we're very excited to tell you more and more about Tiana as the as the buzz comes in. Another poetry title at the end of March, we'll be publishing a new and expanded edition of Drew Lanham's Sparrow Envy. This is a book that we have um, right now in a small form, chapbook form. We're going to be expanding it into a full book. Um, it's also going to have a little bit of prose, so it's kind of a hybrid lyric book. Drew Lanham is a black naturalist ecobiologist. These are poems about being black in nature, um, especially in the birding world mm -hmm. where um, um, a black man with a hoodie and binoculars might be something that is perceived very differently as um, a white person and bird watching is very very white um, mm -hmm. and so these poems and prose sort of grapple with those issues of identity around being in the outdoors so we're really excited about that more soon uh, we love Drew and we can't wait to put out this book so our uh, last title that we're gonna talk to you about is actually our lead title it's The Parted Earth by Anjali and Jetty it comes out on May 4th 2021 this is a gorgeous novel that is already getting a lot of buzz for us it's a novel of homeland and of family it concerns multiple generations of one family and stretches from the partition of the Indian subcontinent all the way to modern-day Atlanta 
and it's really just a stunning intergenerational family tale about the way that the partition of that continent affected families going down for, for, for a half century and it crisscrosses the globe. It's a fast read. We are thrilled to be publishing this book. It's really an overlooked part of history that this novel does a really great job of bringing a human perspective to. Anjali is an activist and writer in the Atlanta area. She's well known as a book reviewer. Really excited to be uh, bringing this title out. We have galleys available in limited number. We'll have more soon. We'd love if you'd read it, if you'd submit an Indian Explorer, pick it for a staff pick. This is the kind of book that we love of to bring out and to share with people and show the kind of range Southern voices can encompass. For readers of Pachinko or Jess Walter's Beautiful Ruins, um, if that's your kind of book or your store's kind of book, they're going to love The Parted Earth. So we can't wait to share this with you. And if you'd like to get a galley, let us know ASAP because they are flying uh, out of our shelves. They are going fast. So they are, <laughs> we'll have more soon, but um, but for now they're, they're a hot commodity. So that's all the books that we have in fall and spring. Please Please follow us on Instagram mm -hmm. at Hub City Writers yep. and on Twitter at Hub City Press. We love to talk to bookshops and uh, readers there and oh, really yeah. build community. That's part of what we do. I hope you're having a great e-show that you're catching lots of panels and it feels as exciting as it always does to actually be on the trade show floor. Um, and we hope that next year we'll be joining you in person. Yep, instead of looking at a phone. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're staying safe and healthy and continuing to sell books and do what you do to support our publishing uh, we really appreciate it. We would we be nowhere without our booksellers. That's true. We love our indies and we love you guys and we'll see you around. Take care.